Hey everyone, good afternoon. Uh, so this is going to be part three of the shop roof build and I'm just picking up uh, a day or two, a couple days have gone by since I guess I ended the last one and it's still, you know, in the same spot. So just picking right up where I left off, continuing on. What I'm working on now is going to be building up this wall up there, uh, which is what the ledger board is going to attach to so that I can make the rafters on this section over here back there <laughs> so uh, I went to Home Depot and they are completely out of windows they had like two windows in stock and they were both the vertical opening type so what I decided to do is this wall right here I'm going to just build up to five feet which is going to just be like an inch or so higher than the um, the 2x12 rafter that's in place up here this one the last one here um, and then once I do get a window, I'm going to just build a, like a hip wall on top of that wall and then put the window into that part of it. Um, that's going to help me actually do two things because I won't have an eight foot wall sticking up that's going to really mess up my tarp in the meantime. And then it's also going to allow me to get the rest of the rafters put up. So win-win, I guess. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get to work. All right, so that wall went pretty quick. I decided to do this in two pieces just because I didn't want to have to figure out this distance to meet up with that distance to meet up with the top so I decided to do it in two pieces um, this piece here is where this wall will continue over so that's basically going to be um, the top of the doorway I guess you could look at it and then this will also be right about at the bottom of where the ledger board will come across so the ledger board will basically but right up against that rafter and it will be even with the bottom and come across and it'll end up being just above this. And then that's basically gonna be my walkway. So um, there should be plenty of room. Let me see. So basically from where that is to the height of this bottom step is just over, well, if I don't drop my phone, um, it's just over, it's like 80 and a half inches, so that's more, I mean, that's nearly seven feet, so that's about a typical doorway height anyway. I think when you rough in doors, uh, I think the rough in measurement is like 82 and a half, so it's pretty close to a normal doorway. It's just because you're coming down the stairs, it seems like it's close. So, that is done. Um, let me start uh, figuring all this out. All right, so I made a, basically just a small header. So let's take a look at this. So it's basically just a two by four header. And then there will be two more two by fours here that will go up to the same height as this. And then I'll just have my small pieces here. And then that'll complete the wall. And then of course, once this wall is built up, there will be you know, another bottom cap there on this. So it'll be like a double top cap. And then it'll go up and have another double top cap on the top of the wall so that the roof of the office can go on that. So that's where I am now. Uh, I'm gonna get the rest of these pieces cut up and get all this in. Yeah, and you know, the level's there. All right, so I have that header built and I have the side piece attached there. I still need to put my little uh, vertical pieces and then the top cap, but I'm using my screed here to make sure that this thing is actually, you know, going the same way. So it's not, you know, in this way or out this way. So I'm using the screed to make sure that it's flush. And then I will check the, uh, the level here which that looks pretty good. So I can go ahead and nail this now and tow it in down here. 
So that's all together. Um, I still got to nail this side in. I'm going to nail it from here, add my top pieces in the top cap, and then this will be done. All right, so this wall is done. Um, I didn't realize I wouldn't be able to nail that down because the tarp's in place, but I'll just remember to do that once the tarp is removed. I had to put a little, uh, that's like one of my heat sleeves on there because the tarp was really tight on that corner. So I think this is a good place to stop tonight. Oh, hi boys. Thanks for coming to see me. So I think that's a good spot to stop for tonight. Looks pretty good. And uh, that's, yeah, it's like 536 already, so. Boys, no playing in the garage. Go outside and play. Go. So um, next thing I'm going to do is I'll be putting the ledger board in here. And that's basically going to be a 2x12 that's going to run from there all the way over to this edge. And it's basically the bottom of the ledger board is going to be probably a quarter inch above the bottom of that header. Somewhere around there. If I did my math right. So that's where I'll pick up next. Um, be just a second for you guys. Okay. So after getting home from work today, I was a little busy. Uh, basically just got this wall um, with some plywood on it. Um, I got it up just high enough to where um, I can put that ledger board on there and it'll be over top of the plywood so that when I build up the wall, um, the sheet of plywood that goes on that section will attach to this part two as well. <laughs> Not part two. Uh, yeah. So I guess where I am now is I'm getting ready to measure and cut this ledger board and then I'm going to put that up. And then once that is done, um, pretty much I am going to have to start uh, processing all of these uh, as far as, you know, putting in the um, the decorative rafter tails, you know, to, ma to uh, match these. And I need to make eight of them, I think. I marked this out. See my markings up there. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight counting the end board. So that's what I'm gonna be working on next. But first I wanna get this uh, ledger board in place. All right, so I'm getting ready to start making these uh, rafters that are going to go from the ledger board here down to the front wall. Um, I threw my template up here just because I wanted to see if the angle was the same. And you can see it's a little bit off, so I'll have to redo this angle. Um, of course, I'm going to still use the same template for my decorative rafter uh, tails. So... I'm getting ready to set up for that and uh, start cutting these out. Okay, so I have my first piece cut up here. And what I'm looking at is this distance here I'm trying to match. So I cut it to what I thought was close and I'm actually about a quarter of an inch long. So this gap is gonna be so that the siding can fit up underneath here and probably like a trim piece too. So let's go inside. All right, so I have this first one up here and basically what I'm gonna do, I need to take off about a quarter of an inch. So this paint stick is a quarter inch. So I'm gonna just put it against the ledger board, trace a line, and then that'll also give me the exact angle of what the ledger board is. And then this piece will become my template for the remaining seven. All right, so I have all of the uh, decorative rafter tails cut. I have everything clamped together and I'm getting ready to cut the notches out for the purlins. And then once that's done, these will be ready to start throwing up, putting up. I don't want to be throwing up. <laughs> All right, so same as I did on the other side, I got the first one in here. Um, it is actually secured up on this end. This end down here is just sitting on the wall, so it's not fully secured yet. 
and I will, you know, do my vertical beams and then tie all this in and then build this wall up so that this is all done. Then I can add house wrap on the outside. And then from here, I'll just continue building the other seven across there. Tomorrow though, it's like almost six o'clock at night now. So yeah. Oh, oh man, that was kind of frustrating. <laughs> Just trying to get the pieces up there around this wall and like over and then the tarp, the bar on the tarps hanging down so they were getting stuck on that. Man, <laughs> everything's up now. Nothing is secured in yet. I have just the, um, on the brackets up there, I have one side of the um, screws put in. Uh, just into the ledger board, not into the rafter. So I got to get all these um, secured up, as well as getting all the hurricane ties here, uh, nailing in on all these as well from the top. Um, that might actually wait until I get to the point where I'm pulling the tarp off so that I can nail those easier, because trying to do it under the tarp would be pretty difficult. But at least I was able to uh, put these up without removing the tarp, so... They are in place. Now I just got to get everything secured. And uh, that's it for the main roof. The main roof is done now. Uh, I need to, of course, uh, the next thing I'm going to be working on is building up this wall up to there. Basically, that's going to be the stopping point because inside there is going to be the wall of the office. So, um, yeah. And then the main portion of the roof is done. And, and... I placed an order for metal. So all of the 24 foot sections of metal have been ordered. So that's the main portion of my whole shop is going to have a metal roof as well as the backside. So on the backside of these rafters that I did the, um, the four foot kicker. So I have the metal ordered for that. I have the ridge cap and then the 24 foot sections for here. So all that metal is ordered. They said it's about a 15 day um, manufacture and delivery time. And it's also, um, it's going to be Christmas this week. Um, so, <laughs> and then New Year's next week. So hopefully it shows up in between Christmas and New Year's, but we'll see. It may end up being after New Year's. So I don't know if that's going to end up being in this video or not, because it depends on, you know, how long this video ends up being. Um, I would like to include it because just to wrap this up, this is uh, the third video already just for the roof. Um, and then of course I still will need to, you know, order metal for this section of the roof. And then once I build the office up here, uh, that's gonna have a separate roof that's gonna be higher than this roof, but same profile, same pitch. Um, so I'll probably wait to order the metal for this section till I order the metal for the office section too and then just get both of those at the same time because I will also need to get some uh, fascia caps for the end that basically kind of wrap over the top metal and then come down the side of the fascia. But I have to wait till I get that up because I have to measure, I have to give them measurements and then they make it. So uh, for the metal roofing, I went with HPM which is the local hardware store that's been here in Hawaii for a hundred years now. Um, they have a manufacturing site here in Shipman Industrial Park, which is about halfway between here and Hilo. Um, so they actually manufacture the roof there. So you can go in, you can give them any length uh, you want it to be, and they form it, cut it, and deliver it. So, um, and it's the, thicker steel too and also their paint is food grade paint so if you have water catchment and you're collecting water off the roof you don't have to worry about paint you know some of these old roofs that are tin or whatever like who knows what the paint is and then that's going into your water catchment anyway i've been babbling for like three minutes now so i'm gonna get back to work <laughs> all right so everything is secured now i have all the hurricane ties on uh, everything up there is tied in and I also uh, sank in some 10 inch headlocks from the back 
So that should be totally secure. Uh, the next thing that I'm gonna work on is building up this wall right here, basically up to that point where the doorway is. Uh, then I can get some house wrap on there. And then uh, this will pretty much be ready for metal once I get to that point. One thing that I do need to do also is now that I have all of the um, rafters up, I can put the next piece of fascia up here going out to the side there. So um, there's not gonna be much of an overhang on that side of the shop, maybe two feet um, max, probably actually probably just under two feet. So the distance here, basically from where the metal roof that I ordered already is gonna stop, to the wall over there I think is about 10 feet, 10 or 12 feet, I can't remember. So basically I'm gonna order one panel wider because um, the panels are, the metal panels are three feet wide and then you lose an inch or two with the overlap. So um, if this is 12 feet, then I'm gonna order five panels so it'll stick out a little bit more. Um, and then we'll, you know, I'll figure that out once I get to that point. So that's what I'm going to be working on next. I probably won't film it. It'll just be there when I come back. All right, so it's been a few days, uh, but I have been getting some work done. As you can see, I have this wall built up here. That's all done. And this small section here. And I also got this wall built up to the ceiling here. Um, up here, I know this isn't really part of the roof build, but I got this wall built. So this is finally closed in by the stairs now. And then, yeah, that's the back of that wall. So this will end up being a whole nother segment where I start working on the office. But that's it. I just wanted to give an update to show that I got all this part built up. Boys. Oi. Oh, I'm also working on finally building the stairs for the deck. <laughs> so, I know that's not part of this video either, but I have it built up, started putting the paint on it. Hey! Knock it off. So yeah, that's just an update. Uh, I'm gonna continue with this. I'm kind of waiting to see if the metal shows up uh, before I end this video so that I can get the metal on this part of the roof uh, in this video. The next things I'm going to be working on is gonna be building this wall here uh, for the grinding room. And that's basically gonna go all the way up to the ceiling. Um, I may or may not start getting some uh, tongue and groove pine to put over some of these sections, you know, to close up the roof. But I mean, that's going to be a ways down the line before I have all this done. I'm going to end up doing electrical soon. And I think a lot of it's actually going to run through the roof uh, and then drop down, you know, the walls that it needs to. So that's just an update. Uh, we'll see what happens next. And also, uh, I guess I just wanted to show I got the other piece of fascia up over here. So. Now it's up all the way across. Um, it's sticking out about two feet on that side, but it'll you know, be trimmed back to, I guess, whatever size the roof ends up being, but I'm not gonna have much of an overhang on this side. So you can see the space there between the, the last rafter, which is the very edge of the wall, and then here. So uh, it'll get trimmed back and then this is of course kind of low so you can see like this corner of the roof is actually like if i walk up here it's i could hit my head on it <laughs> but it'll end up getting cut back somewhere around here um and i think this will probably be like a point where i get on and off the roof when i need to get on the roof we'll be over on this side so um that's it but uh, now the dogs are going down in there where i don't like them going bunch of a-holes <laughs> all right all right so i got uh all the blocking put in on this front wall in preparation for the metal roof showing up uh, i still need to do the blocking on all this back here um, 
I just have to do the blocking up to this point where the metal roof is going to go. Uh, this part I can do later, you know, before I get this metal roof ordered, this section. So just working on that, hoping it'll show up maybe this week or I guess after New Year's. Boy. So it is a nice sunny day in the shop. <laughs> so you know what that means. The uh, metal roof is getting delivered today. Matter of fact, it should be on its way right now. Um, man, whee, sweating already. So uh, as you can see, I already have the tarp rolled back and I was up on the roof this morning putting in the remaining purlins that were uh, this section, uh, the last like four or five rafters. Um, didn't have the purlins on because I had the tarp going over the, the edge of the wall. As you can see over here. So all the purlins are up now. Uh, yeah, so just waiting for the roof uh, delivery to get here and then uh, put the roof up. I'm gonna see if the guy with the forklift can actually just set it on top of the roof. He should be able to. And then, uh, yeah, make it a lot easier for me to actually position it on the roof and start screwing it down. So we'll get to that. I don't know how much of it I'm actually going to film. I'll probably try and do a little bit of uh, a time lapse. But um, I know this video is getting long already. So uh, now I can just rest for a minute until the uh, delivery gets here. And there you go. Ah, roof is delivered. And I just had the forklift driver just set it right onto the roof. So that saves me the hassle of trying to figure out how to get 24 foot panels up on the roof. So this way I can just start to rotate them 90 degrees and then start laying them out. So they are up. Um, there's some four foot pieces on the top, which you probably can't see. You can see a little edge there and over there. That's for the back side of the roof. Um, I started already cutting the straps and stuff. And I have a scrap piece in here. So one thing that's good to know if you're ordering metal roofing is uh, if I can do this one handed. So I put that over on that side kind of hard because it's around the post here. Let's see where the 36 inch mark is. Ah. So basically this is the overlap where the one piece overlaps the other piece. This little ridge here is where you put a bead of uh, silicone. Um, so from that point to the end is 36 inches. So this part is actually extra. So I wasn't sure how they did that. If it was a true 36 inch or if they gave you the little bit extra. So that's good to know. All right, so I'm up top, uh, got my ridge cap here. Uh, I have the short pieces pulled up, long pieces are still down there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the back side here. And I, I don't think I'm really gonna film much of this because there's not really like a good angle that I can get that will actually show. Um, once I get started on the front side, I'll probably do a little bit of a time lapse, but I think the overall process, I'm probably not gonna film too much of it just because I'm just working by myself. So um, I gotta just, you know, pay attention to what I'm doing and be careful, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna get the measurement for this of where it's gonna be at, get it marked, and then I'll put it back on top and then I'll pre-drill the holes, um, you know, every two feet basically. And then uh, I'll start laying these down. And I also have the foam pieces that I gotta put in here and then there will be a foam piece on the top as well. So once the ridge cap goes on, um, it'll be it'll be basically covered on foam on both sides. So that way, you know, no pests or hopefully no water can get through, no wind blowing rain or anything like that. All right. So um, after I got that piece measured out, uh, I'm pre-drilling holes in there. And what I'm doing is I have them all stacked up together. 
and then I'll pre-drill the holes through all of them at one time. And then that way when I put them on, I can just put the screws in fairly easily. Uh, I also have foam pieces here that will go on the underside and that basically is going to seal the outside, I guess, uh, of the shop. So this board here is my blocking. That's the first purlin, second purlin, and then there will be a, a fascia board on the end there too, which of course I don't have on yet, but I can add on later. So um, I'm gonna finish drilling this. Uh, I got my silicone up here, so I'm ready. And uh, start placing these panels and screwing them in. All right, so these are going on pretty quick. Um, basically, I'm just I'm running my bead of silicone on first, put it in place, screw it down, move to the next one. So I should be done with these in no time. Oh, brah! Whose idea was it to get 24 foot panels? <laughs> Holy smokes! These things are heavy. It's taking me like an hour and a half just to get these turned basically 90 degrees. Get the first, there's actually two panels here because I'm going to drill them together. And then I'll move one over and then I'll do like the next two and next two. Basically two at a time, I guess. But yeah, man. <laughs> Super heavy. So uh, I have a little block down here, kind of like a stop so that the bottom will be spaced out an inch and a half, which is what I'm looking for. Um, and then I'll just move this over each time I get ready to place a new panel. So, uh, yeah, I'll get back to it. Man, I am beat. So, the metal roof is on. Uh, I still have to put foam in there. That's why you can still see light in there. And then, uh, of course, I still gotta put the ridge cap on. I notice it's uh, a lot darker in here now. Because <laughs> with that white tarp on, you know, it still reflected the light in. It doesn't look that dark on the, the camera, I guess, because it's adjusting the light, but yeah, it's definitely darker in here. All right, let's go up top, take a look. There we go. Boy, gotta climb up the ladder. Pretty awesome. So I still gotta put the ridge cap on. I don't really think I'm gonna have that in this video. And it's getting, uh, it's gonna get dark soon, so I don't really wanna mess around with uh, waiting to get the video done. I wanna try and do that, so this is it. Boah. Okay. So I got all my foam pieces there, the silicone. I got the ridge caps right there. Uh, hey, there's the back of the property. You can see my little wood, ch wood chipper under the blue tarp there. If you look really close, right there in the middle, that's my rainbow eucalyptus tree. That sucker's over 10 feet tall already. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was a long day, a lot of work. I'm super tired. <laughs> uh, but man, so stoked to have this. I mean, look at all this roof. Whew. That's pretty crazy. Um, of course, you know, the purlins are gonna get trimmed on the end over there. And then there's gonna be a fascia board added on. I wanted to wait till I actually got the roof on so I knew where to cut those because like I said I didn't know with the overlap and everything the exact measurement once the whole roof was installed 
So, man, yeah, it was a lot of steps to get to this point. <laughs> uh, but so happy and relieved. So in the meantime, I'm going to, uh, let me flip the camera. So in the meantime, I'll end up just rolling this tarp back over, like maybe out to here. And then I'm gonna put some cinder blocks on there. Um, just for now, until I start, I guess, working on the office. I'm not sure when I'm gonna get this section of roofing in. I mean, I could order it anytime, I guess. It's just money. Um, once I save up enough money to order that and then Eventually, there will be a roof on the office, too, that I'll have to order metal for. So, um, you know, it's all time and money, but that's what's going to happen for that. So this small section, which is roughly about 12 feet, I think, of the shop, is still going to be under a tarp. So, yeah, I'm fine with that. So anyway, guys, long day. <laughs> But anyway, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Thanks for following along. Uh, I will see you guys on the next video. There will be another roof video down the road. Um, as far as shop videos, uh, I don't know if I'm really going to do shop build videos anymore. I'm just going to kind of do stuff and then I'll just do update videos, I guess. If there's certain things that I'm working on, um, I guess the next big thing is going to be starting to run electrical in the shop. So um, I will film that, um, but I'm not sure when that's gonna start because wire and outlets and breakers and all that stuff is very expensive too. So um, <laughs> yeah, too bad Hawaii doesn't have lottery, huh? I never win anyway. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video. Aloha. Okay, for those of you that stuck around. Hey, ridge cap is done. Moon is out. And the cookies are singing. <laughs>